Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Sorry for the wobbly video start. It's like a more of a handheld um, operation today. Um, uh, I am coming off of a horrible cold. So please do bear with my voice going in and out. Um, but I thought, hey, you're stuck at home. So it's the perfect time to film a bookshelf video that I've been wanting to do forever. So um, yeah, this is basically um, my bookshelf. I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six partitions, uh, six sort of cubes like this. It's a basic Billy bookshelf from Ikea. Um, I have like dedicated space for like books, uh, for K-pop, um, for manga. Uh, I'll show you to you guys as we go through the bookshelf. Um, I also have some stuff right up top. So you can probably start from there. So this is actually uh, from the uh, Empire of the Vampire special collector's edition box. Uh, the book is in the shelf down here, but I still kept the box because it's pretty cool. Um, this is just a cute little set from Diptyque. I don't, I still don't have the heart to use it. I got this when I was traveling on a plane. Uh, thank you, Qatar Airways. <laughs> and then we had the New Jeans Bunny Beach Bag and an EXO Anniversary Cup right up there. Um, there are a few things behind it. So that's a collector's edition Demon Slayer thingy. Um, it has like some pins and some other stuff on the inside. Next to that is the RM Indigo Vinyl. Uh, which you guys have probably already seen on the channel. This is my current <laughs> TBR. Oh my god, it's so tall. Um, but yeah, as you can see, there's quite a few books on the TBR right there. Um, slowly but surely getting through this, you can see that I've already started a couple, a couple of the books. I think the most recent one I picked up was the Hong Vodum one, which is pretty cute, so we'll see. <laughs> And then we have a nice little Gojo figure here. I also collect, I used to collect anime figurines um, back when it was possible. Um, but yeah, and then behind we have the black pink vinyl. Um, but yeah, it's one of my favorite figurines. I usually keep switching out the figurines to some extent. So this month it's Gojo, next month it might be something else. All right, so that was the, like very top of the bookshelf. And then this is the first sort of row. Um, I don't like to have a very standard layout of the bookshelf. So I have it sort of how maybe an independent bookstore would organize things. So this is, um, you know, a, a personalized book that I got from going to one of the events organized by a cute little independent bookstore here called Champaka Bookstore in Bangalore. Um, it was like a art, art in nature kind of walk through one of the famous parks here. And if I open this up, you'll probably see that it's like personalized to me. I really don't want to show that right now. Um, but yeah, it's signed by the author and everything. So yeah, just uh, behind that, we have the Hogwarts Library. Yes, I am a Harry Potter fan. Um, will always be probably one. Uh, but you have Tales of Beetle the Bard, um, Quidditch for the Ages, and Fantastic Beasts right here. And then behind that, we have Daughter of the Moon Goddess, uh, the Grishaver series, and also more Lay Bardugo with the Hellbent at Ninth House, um, Alex Stern series. Um, going to put this one back here all right moving on we have a cute little I'm a big um, heaven officials blessing fan so I have this uh, cute little uh, figurine of uh, Shalian and um, Watung from the series this is from Good Smile Company um, it's one of my favorite. This is a ever, never changing one. Like this one is always on my shelf. Uh, right behind that, we have Alone With You in the Ether. This is from uh, a local author that I met at one of the book fairs here. She was really sweet and it's about like 
the lives of IT employees in Bangalore. Uh, then we have The Great Gatsby. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, the Beautiful and the Damned from F. Scott Fitzgerald. That one, that book has an interesting story. This uh, gold foil one, which you can't see properly, maybe because of the light. Um, that's actually from the last bookstore in Los Angeles. It's one of my favorite bookstores in the entire world. Um, then we have the Poison and Tea series. Uh, this is from Bibliophile on Instagram. They do beautiful custom sprayed edges. Uh, so go check them out. I'll link them in the description below. Then we have Yoke, um, which I really enjoyed that book. Let me see if I can move this one a little bit. Yeah. And then we have my, one of my most recently, I kind of love this series. Um, I love the Inheritance Game series. It's one of my favorite series recently. Um, not sure if I enjoyed the Hawthorne Legacy as much as I did Final Gambit and the other books in the series, but I think there's gonna be more to the series and we'll see where it goes, but yeah, and I overall really like that series. I have a couple of cloth bands here. Um, I bought this one. This is a celebrity recommended one, really, because I heard Robert Pattinson say that he was reading this book at some point, and uh, so I bought this book. Pretty, pretty kind of sad, I don't know. Um, yeah, and Hell's Screen I bought. Uh, because I have not read that book yet. I only bought it because I'm a Bunga Stray Dogs fan and uh, if uh, folks, other folks who are Bunga Stray Dogs fans have, you know, know who Akutagawa is on the series, so yeah. <laughs> Let me remove these so you can see the other books there. So we have Lessons in Chemistry. I haven't started watching the series from Apple TV, but I will. Uh, we have Gilded. Um, this one, I've had this book for a really long time. I just never got around to reading We Were a Liar. So I guess that's another thing for the TBR. Yeah, Serpent and Dove series, I, it's one of my, like she's one of my favorite authors, as you can see. I am also like have the Scarlet Whale from her on my TBR right now. So yeah. Um, then we have the book that made me cry on a flight uncontrollably. It's a Song of Achilles. Um, and then we have Cersei, which I also really loved. This uh, Sometimes I Lie is um, an interesting book. I got it from like a blind book exchange, which is interesting. Um, I wouldn't say I enjoyed it too much, but it was a quick enough read. Um, then we have Looking for Alaska, John Green, one of my favorite authors ever. Uh, then we have Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Then we have Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe. These are all like classic books that I love. Uh, a lot of my favorites here. This little cat, this is actually a like Sakura chopstick holder and it's like ceramic little cat. This is from the Japanese garden in San Francisco. Um, but yeah, it's little souvenirs all over. Plastic plant. This is a cute little souvenir from like my nephew's first birthday, which is, I thought was really cute, so I put it up on the shelf. So yeah, that's pretty much everything in shelf one. Um, so let's move on to shelf two. So yeah, we have a couple of more Lee Bardugo here, collector's editions of Six of Crows and Cricket Kingdom. We also have the 80 or $90 wand from Universal Harry Potter World Orlando, Florida. Uh, this is a cute little bookmark from Mysore. This is supposed to be the emblem of Mysore. You can like lift these things up and insert the pages in here. So I thought it was pretty cool. So when I went to Mysore, I got this like as a mini souvenir. Okay, let me remove these two books and then we can take a look at it here. Yeah, so this is all the tiny books that I didn't have space for vertically, so they exist horizontally. Um, so yeah, this is one of my favorite non-fiction book, non books of all time. It's like such an easy read. You can pick it up from anywhere in between. It's the Anthropocene Reviewed by John Green. As I said, he's one of my favorite authors. We have Ariadne, which was okay. I'm a big Greek mythology fan, so I'm always going to read books that come out about it. 
The next book by Corey O'Brien, that's Zeus, Grand Stupid Butcher, that's, <laughs> it's such a hilariously offensive book. Um, so if you folks don't have a sense of humor, I do not recommend that one because like there is a lot of um, weird refer like references to religion and that might not be funny to everyone. So yeah. Um, do we have Demian by Herman Hess? I'm not going to even lie and say that I picked this up on my own. I only picked this up because of BTS. <laughs> um, this is a very interesting read. Um, it's a very confusing read, I would say. Uh, then we have the last book from the, the you know, coffee shop series, I call it, from Toshikazu Kawaguchi. Um, this is a, the latest one before we say goodbye. I think it's the last one. Um, then we have the whole picture. Alice Proctor, and then we have Alum, Animal Farm, Clara and the Sun, another one of my big favorites. And of, of course, we have another book that was recommended by RM from BTS, which is Almond. And we have one of my least favorite books from this year, which is Cleopatra and Frankenstein. Did not like that book. Actually, I kind of DNF'd that one, so that sort of gives you an idea of how much I like that book. Uh, we have Happy Place by Emily Henry, um, enjoyable enough. I thought it was fine. I liked it. Uh, I have Dan Howell's book, which I pick up from time to time. It's like, uh, you know, as um, most people do, you, you need some help through your mental health these days. So it's a nice little book. I've always, he's one of my favorite YouTubers. So it's nice to have some YouTubers care about real things in this world. So yeah. We have the, yeah, we have the Cultures Edition of Empire of the Vampire that I mentioned before. This is a signed book from Celeste Ng, uh, Our Missing Hearts. I hope I'm pronouncing that name correctly. Then we have Six Crimes and Cranes. Uh, we had the thir third book, um, third book or second, third book. Yeah, this is also signed. This is also signed. Basically, these are all signed books. The Sally Rooney one is also signed. And then... I most, actually I didn't know what this book was about. Uh, tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow. I just bought this book because I like the cover art so much. It's one of the, it's the, it's one of my favorite paintings. Oh, this is my favorite, The Great Wave of Kanagawa is one of my favorite paintings in the entire world. So that was the biggest reason I picked up that book and then I really enjoyed the book as well. So <laughs> we have the, uh, I don't know if the series has a name, but I really enjoy this. Um, then we have the You Reach the Sun. It's, that, that book was so sad to me. Um, we have the Akatar series, a couple of books at least from Akatar. Um, I haven't finished the Akatar series, but at this point, I don't think I'm gonna read through the books because I kind of know what's happened so far just from being on Tumblr and you know social media, so. I don't think I'll be finishing that series like, you know, I don't think I'll be reading the last book. I think the last one is like 800 pages, so no. Um, then we have Secret History from Donna Tartt. Again, I uh, love some dark academia in my life. Uh, we have Iron Widow from Shiren J. Zhao. Uh, love her and also love her presence on social media, so yes. Um, then we have our two favorite books, Iron Flame and The Fourth Wing. You can see, <laughs> I don't want to pull them out because I have to rearrange too much to pull those books out. But you can see from the from the sprayed edges. So uh, fourth wing is the one below and on top of it is Iron Flame. We've reached our next set of Nentoroids. This is uh, Karna and Arjuna from the Fate series. Um, these were like recently placed here. I have a huge Nendoroid collection that I have no place for, so it just lives in cupboards. But um, yeah, I thought these two were so cute. So I recently put them up here. Um, this is something that is probably the, one of the most special things that I own. It's like a VIP ticket from the Reputation Tour in 2018. I think it was 2018. Uh, Taylor Swift's Reputation Tour. Um, and this is my ticket. This is where I was seated. And if you bought a VIP package, you get the frame to save your ticket this way. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, all right, 
we're down to so that was those two are like the only books that i have on display right now there's obviously a lot more books i have but they're all in cupboards because i have no place to display them right now um all right we're down to our next shelf so this is the signed album this is the center shelf so we have two above this and two below this this is the signed albums shelf <laughs> of my collection so i have uh, how many 10 signed albums and five of them are from the same group <laughs> uh, these are like some a lot of the mnet store ones uh i think one of them is from yeez you um but yeah let's quickly go through them so please don't ask me i only know a couple of signatures on here so the behind row is entirely sf9 albums four of them are turnover albums which is my favorite sf9 album the brown one with all member signatures from yeezyu and i know that the bunny kind of signature is from insung so please don't ask me for anyone else's signatures um i have a cix album signed um i have a woods album signed by him which i love so much i am a huge woods fan um this is the day six even of day we have all three members signed the glue on album we have a p1h album fully signed and an astro album that's signed by all of the members um we have also reached our next set of nendroids this is all a uh, the four-piece set from Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you anime fans probably know who all of these are. Got Gojo again. Second Gojo in this bookshelf. Megumi, Yuji, and Nobara. Um, this is EXO's quadruple million seller silver coin. And this is the Chanyeol version. I was a big Chanyeol fan at the time and also Big Hand was sold out. So, <laughs> um, yeah. This is a cool little piece of EXO history. If you can go close by, you can see. It says Chanyol, signature, that's a silver coin. All right, that's pretty much it for the signed albums. Next up, we have my manga shelf. Welcome to the manga section. So um, let's start from this end. So this is a candle, so <laughs> let's ignore that, but it's from Barnes & Noble. No. Uh, Bath and Body Works. Um, this is a fruits basket. Um, Kotobukiya figure um, of Kyo and uh, Yuki. <laughs> Sorry, it took me a minute. With their uh, zodiac form. So we had the mice and the, uh, we had the mouse or the rat and the cat. Fruits basket, that's all the fruits basket mangas. It's the collector's edition. I It's my number one favorite manga of all time, so I had to have everything. It took me a while to collect it, but yeah, it's one of my favorite things, and this will never be removed from here. Uh, we have a Japanese edition manga. This is the only one that I own. It's from Yona of the Dawn. It's one of my favorite mangas as well. And you have an arts collection of Yona of the Dawn. It's like postcards. This is the... I love, I love this manga so much, but it's very sad. But uh, I mean, a lot of people I'm sure have watched the anime of it as well. This one I'm, I have yet to read, it came highly recommended, so I bought this manga recently. Um, yeah, so as, you, as I said before, I love Bungo Stray Dogs. So yeah, that's Bungo Stray Dogs. Un moment. Yeah, then we have our Junji Ito collection, like Tomie and Venus in the Blind Spot. Again, huge fan of Junji Ito, so I think Tomie was one of the most crazy things I read. There is a crazy story in this one um, that has to do with a chair. I highly recommend this set of collection of short stories if you want to get your introduction to Junji Ito. So yeah, go ahead with that. We have one more Bunko Stray Dogs piece. This is Volume 1 and Volume 2. Uh, yeah. The Brothers Hawthorne. That, this was the one. Not Hawthorne Legacy. This was the book that I didn't really enjoy from the series. I don't have space for this up top, so it's just here. Um, 
but yeah, uh, we have a fruits basket and other. Um, I think it's like sort of a continuation of the kids from Fruits Basket. I didn't really enjoy that series as much, but um, I just wanted to have them. <laughs> and then we have the MXTX set, uh, Heaven Official Blessing, the Scum Villain Self Saving System, and Grand Master of Demonic Cultivation. Uh, I really love anything and everything the author makes, so yeah. And then we have Paradise Kiss, 20th Anniversary Edition. That's a big book, but highly recommend. Uh, we also have a omnibus of Tokyo Ghoul down below. You'll see, you can see it around Miku here. <laughs> All right. And then we have this uh, katana. It's actually a keychain from <laughs> Attack on Titan. I actually have a lot more manga inside. I have the entire set of Demon Slayer, Jujutsu Kaisen, Attack on Titan, and Haikyuu, but I don't have anywhere to display all of that right now. So we'll see. If I never I move, we'll see if we can get a more awesome V2 of the bookshelf. <laughs> this is a, so this is also a recent replacement on the shelf. This is a Hatsune Miku. She's like on a music box. I think it's called Melody Miku. I'm not, don't quote me on that. You can actually rotate her and also, if I'm not wrong, she does open up, but I don't really want to super disturb this thing right now. There you go. You can see she opens, you can have stuff inside. Yeah. Couple of uh, wooden, these are basically bookmarks. Um, and an EXO 9th anniversary cup. It's the Beckham version. And those friendship laces are from when I went to the Aeros tour movie here. So <laughs> that's basically this bookshelf. So this is the only bookshelf I have dedicated for manga right now. So this is all I can fit here. Also didn't mention Blue Period, which is at the leftmost corner. One of my favorite mangas of all time the anime was okay the manga is great i couldn't really justify buying more volumes like physical volumes after the six but i still do read them on digital so all right we're down to the k-pop shelves so this is a full I also switch these two shelves out since I have only two shelves for K-pop, so I do switch them out regularly. Um, but for now, we only have EXO uh, and some shiny and other like newer albums on here. Okay, so we have the Exist albums, we have Power of Music, uh, Obsession, we have the Coco, Coco Bop albums. Winter album, all of their smaller ones, including CBX and their older. This is how the Kino albums used to look a while back. So I have the older Kino albums, Love Shot, the most recent Exist S Mini. Uh, there's also a Exordium Concert one. You see the white album behind? That's Exordium Concert. Another DVD. We have Baekhyun's solo stuff. This is Baekhyun's photo book. Then we have Don't Fight the Feeling album behind there. Um, this is the uh, part of the light concert merchandise from Baekhyun. He made a candle that smells like grass <laughs> near the Han River. It's good that he made it that scent because I'm not a fan, so I'm probably never going to end up using this, uh, this candle. So. <laughs> It's gonna stay with me forever. Uh, this is from the Miracles on December album. I got the Chanyeol Snow Globe. I thought it was very cute, so I just kept it out. Uh, also got this figurine. As you can see, at one point, I was like really into Chanyeol. I still really like him, but I've moved on and now I'm like a hardcore Baekhyun main, so. Um, yeah. All right, last shelf in the one second let me just lower the camera a little bit more so you guys can see it more clearly yeah this is the last shelf um Beckhan's japanese solo album right here 
there's also a version behind as you can see as you can see like it says drown and everything else um we've got kai solo stuff peaches both versions and then we got delight we've got the smcu winter album from exo we've got kai's mm album then we got dio's album shumin xosc here and here uh suho's first mini album all the chen albums this is a um film camera that we got from kai bar when i joined a group order they ordered a lot of kai exo albums from kai bar china you get the they give gifts so that time so that year kai bar was doing film cameras and it has kim kai on it so it's so cute <laughs> um this is the V layer album, obviously, and then we have all layers of albums here. Um, I'm gonna actually pull out one of the albums. I want to show you the Lee album because it's such a beautiful one. Um, look at that! Like my God, this is also a limited edition one, so I'm like very excited to have this album. But it's very like traditional looking. Yeah, just thought people should see this. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'll always support Lei. He's, you know, gonna be an EXO guy forever for me, so, yeah. Um, this is my Taman's Never Gonna Dance Again album. Um, I, I just love the packaging of this so much. Like, you can just see the CDs straight up. Uh, behind we have a bunch of smaller. We have Rover, the Baekhyun Suzy, uh, single CD. CPX, random Geo and Rise albums in there. <laughs> if you can see it. Um, then we have a couple of more EXO. We have all of Taemin's albums. So the reason why Taemin is now being featured here along with Subram is because I'm just waiting for his um, new album, Guilty, to be delivered to me. So once that's there, I'll be displaying that. Um, and then we have, um, what is this? The Zero Base One album, the most recent one, Fat Check, and this is Taman's Advice album. So then we have Super One from Super M. This is a little um, music box that plays Winter Bear by V. And these two mini dolls are of Taeyong from NCT. And we also have the Fat Check album. So yeah, that's pretty much everything that's on my bookshelf. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this through, you know, this tour of my bookshelf. I hope one day there's a lot more of the things that can be displayed outside and I can have a bigger, uh, longer V2 of my bookshelf tour. But for now, uh, let me know in the comments what you guys thought about it. Um, what you guys liked, what you guys didn't like, or any, you know, design or styling options you guys have for the bookshelf. I'm more than happy to listen to it. So yeah, if you made this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Um, do consider leaving a like, or subscribe to the channel. Do consider leaving a comment on the video and um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.